all know this week is all about giving back and there's no age requirement to be able to have an impact on your community. Kids and seniors coming together in Cedar Springs today to prep some meals for families in need. We got to check it out in person. Yams, green beans, and apple pies. Can't have a turkey day feast without them. Just gotta do is add two, three tablespoons of flour, one cup of sugar, and like a, just a season cin cinnamon. And a little bit of love, right, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia Kalinda is one of several people getting their hands dirty the day before Thanksgiving. Kids as young as two, along with seniors, working together at the Cedar Springs Village Learning Center, not for themselves, but for families in need. Our whole goal with through my child care program has always been giving back to the community and teaching it at a young age, teaching kindness. Um, so this was one of our favorite activities that we did every year. Jennifer Ruersma, the VLC director, started this 10 years ago at her in-home child care, making a meal at that point for just one family. This year, nine families reached out requesting help. We made a turkey with feathers that had all the different ingredients that we needed. And within 24 hours, all 350 ingredients had been claimed. All those ingredients are used to create the dishes for those families. Uh, well, almost all of them. What goes into the yams? Uh, brown sugar and marshmallows. Okay, very nice. Do you ever take some of the marshmallows and, and eat it? Just to sneak a couple of them? Be honest with me. I won't tell. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Brewers must says on top of picking up some kitchen skills. There you go. Now you got to The true lesson is learning about the impact you can have on your neighbors. We have some kids in some rough circumstances here in this child care, and they are super excited that there's something that they can do. And it looks like it's working. Because we're making Thanksgiving food. Oh, you need more marshmallows. I like being kind, and I like seeing people happy on Thanksgiving. And it makes me, it makes me sad to just think that people, some Thanksgivings, like they don't have, like they don't have anything. Uh, that, that kid sneaking the marshmallow. We've all been there, right? Uh, two big takeaways from that effort there. Kindness is key. And like we just saw, it's not wrong to sneak a marshmallow or two when you're preparing the sweet potato casserole. I'm sure a lot of you will be doing that tonight. And once the meals are done, they'll all be delivered to those nine families later tonight. So no matter what they might be struggling with, they can put their worries aside at least for a day and celebrate Thanksgiving the way we all should. Looks like a lot of fun just being there with them, too. Oh, you should. And then after he popped the first uh, marshmallow, that's what he kept doing the rest of the day. He was not. <laughs> he was, Once you gave him the go ahead, he's like, oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, believe me, I was right there with him though, the whole time. Oh, yeah.